Wednesday saw the closing of the 46th General Assembly meeting of the Organization of American States held in Santo Domingo. As we reported earlier this week, there was a declaration approved by the OAS in which Belize and Guatemala have committed to ongoing efforts to find a peaceful solution to the border dispute. Belize's Foreign Minister, Wilfred Ellerington, who spoke at the Assembly, noted that Belize is working with Guatemala to see that this matter is resolved successfully at the International Court of Justice at the quickest time and to ensure that between now and then there is peace between the people of both countries. That statement has become a sticking point for several persons as it is being pointed on social media and today the coalition organized for liberty through Action Cola has issued a statement on this issue. Cola's release stated, quote, Recently, the government of Belize has been pushing its ICJ agenda abroad, not a referendum agenda, but an ICJ agenda. Cola's president, Giovanni Brackett, spoke to the media on the matter. I've been saying to Cola from a long time ago that the Minister of Foreign Affairs and the government, definitely by extension, have given the impression that this or we already have made up our mind that we're going to go to the ICJ. And the talks have been more about the ICJ rather than being a referendum process. And the way we have been made to understand from 2008 is that from the signing of the compromise that there has to be a joint referendum between the two countries. Yes, that was changed. Again, we, are, we appeased the Guatemalans. We changed that we could have done it um, on separate dates. However, there's no longer like a talk about the referendum. It's just strictly about going to the ICJ and that we find it very disingenuous to the international community and it's not representative of where we are as a country. And I think it's very rude and disrespectful to the people of Belize of ignoring that process. And it's, I think it's like a brainwashing that the Minister of Foreign Affairs and the government, the Prime Minister, they are hoping that speaking this way would actually give them a yes at the um, international, going to the International Court of Justice. And Kola wants to alert the people of Belize that we have not signed up, we have not gone through a referendum and there are still ways to go, there's still a referendum process and that should not be ignored. That's the very first point of our press release. Um, Cola also in that release looked at the fact that we need to go back to the awareness um, campaign that um, Stuart Lester and them had started to alert the people that we are still at a referendum process and that need that discussion needs to be started all over again. In addition to those demands, Cola is asking for a full and intensive clarification of the situation in the Sarstoon, saying that contrary to what government continues to report, Belizeans have not and clearly will not be allowed into the river. The Sarstoon is still a huge issue for Cola. Um, we've built a base, but the Guatemalans have gone ahead to assert their power over the entire Sarstoon. And we have not, even though we've built those bases, we have failed to assert our level of power over our side of the Sarstoon. Now, when I've talked to my friends in the CARICOM and other people abroad, some people are really ridiculous, they find it ridiculous. How can you have a base and not assert yourself? I mean, you don't have to have a million man army or to, to actually assert yourself. There's ways how you can diplomatically on the front deal with that and the army has a role to play. So if the Guatemalans come to you know, into our water, we need to pull our cameras and the, our soldiers need to have cameras as well because you've seen they have their cell phones and we need to assert ourselves and arrest their people who are illegally fishing in our waters and send them back just as how they are doing to us. But if we fail to assert ourselves, it's like a squatters who is on our land for like 10, 15 years, and if you fail to remove them, eventually they'll have that land. And so we are, we are cautioning the public that, you know, we cannot accept this from our government. Our government needs to assert power over the Sarstone and defend the Sarstone. Brackett says Cola has therefore made demands through this release, with one of them being a clarification on the referendum issue. Cola went on to speak on the Referendum Act, noting, quote, Guatemala has requested that our government amend the Referendum Act to allow a simple majority to pass the vote. Currently, the threshold is at 60%. Cola categorically rejects any amendment to our Referendum Act, one, to accede to a request from Guatemala, and two, without full and proper consultation with the Belizean people. 
It seems that all concessions in this entire negotiation process have been made by Belize, while Guatemala plays puppet master.